here at the world famous Cookies Cafe in uh, Golden City, Missouri. Um, it's Wednesday. We're at mile 30 for the day, 9 o'clock in the morning. Let's take a look inside. Looks like the guys from Scotland were here yesterday and she's saying that they were here for lunch. So they're a day and a half in front of us. What's your, what are your plans? Um, I'm doing the Trans Am from uh, San Francisco to Yorktown. You should give these guys a discount. They just recommended you as I read yeah, by. Uh, they ju I just, just had them. He, he was going to pass on by. Yeah, I was going to go straight by and then stay with Dan. Dan, Dan yeah. Him. Did you stay a couple of nights with him? Yeah. Okay, cool. Did you, con did you, con in an did you contact RV? him? No, I stayed with another guy called Nathan. Oh, so in town. Okay. In town, but Nathan's a great young lad. So he doesn't have an apartment in town anymore, but so he drove us out to his parents' house. Oh. And it was a really entertaining evening. But this okay. this this kid's cool. He he rode the west coast of the states. Oh, okay. And he's only kind of 21. Yeah. Uh, but really, really smart kid. Huh. Uh, I really enjoyed talking to him. And. Uh, yeah, so he gave me his bed and slept on the couch. I didn't wow. realize until the morning when I came out and he was just sleeping on the couch. Huh. Uh, but yeah, that was great. And then he drove me back in, rode out of town with me this morning. That's cool. Really cool. So I have a project called Expedition 1000. And, the, and it's, just a, it's just a personal life mission, I guess. The idea is to do 25 different journeys of 1,000 miles or more. And each one uses a different form of non-motorized transport. So never too two journeys with the same mode. How can you come up with 25 different things? Man, as soon as you start like digging into this stuff, I've got a list of hundreds. And my inbox is, well, it's interesting to read every morning. There's always someone, some smart ass, recommending something else. Yeah. You want a pogo stick across Togo. <laughs> so, what ha so what have you done so far? So this is my 15th trip. 15th? Yeah, so I'm kind of on the downhill slope now with only 10,000 mile trips to go. Oh my god. Uh, so I skateboarded across Australia, just a handful skateboarded across Australia. I kayaked the Murray River in Australia. I paddleboarded the Mississippi. A thousand miles paddleboard. Yeah, that, so a thousand is the minimum. I think if you do a thousand miles, it's always going to be a challenge. But the Mississippi was almost 2,400. Oh I skateboarded 3,600 across Australia from Perth to Brisbane. Oh my I God. swam a thousand miles from Chamberlain, South Dakota, down the Missouri to, to St. Louis. To the Seriously? And I, and I don't know how to do these things before I start, so I didn't know how to swim when I jumped in the Missouri. So I just take the first couple of weeks nice and easy and oh learn how boy. to do it. And all the trips are super cheap. So I, as long as you want to do them. I got a lot of people like, you must be really rich or a great athlete. I'm like, I'm nothing. You know, no way. You just decide to do something and just take your time. And if you've got a body, it's going to get stronger. Yeah. And I, and I love that kind of gradual learning. But this, this recumbent bike is gorgeous. What, it, it's Dave, and then what's your last name? Last name, Cornthwaite. So C-O. I, I, I think I've read, I think I've read about you last year. How in the world did I know that Cindy would be here? Yeah, be quiet. Be quiet. I don't, I don't talk, be quiet. I don't talk bad about quiet. I don't talk bad about you little pioneering game. Let me talk about myself. I disturbed the kelp pool party. Just got to Ash Grove and uh, stopped at City Hall. And got the key to this place. So this is the Barham House, built in 1876 in Ashgrove, Missouri. This is my first day in Missouri. It's about a 66 mile day. Let me show you. Um, this is a house that's uh, offered as um, an event sort of a center available for people to rent out, but then they also just 
make it available to touring cyclists on the Trans Am. This entire room was pretty much empty when I got here. I just set up a table and a little cot. It's got all of this space. There's a shower, a bathroom, and a full kitchen and air conditioning. So yeah, we're, um, let's see, I think I'm about 600 miles into this, almost 700 miles and hit Missouri and we're in the Ozarks. I'm loving it actually. I was so, so tired of riding on the flat terrain and we had hills all day. It was, it was just amazing. I just, I miss, I miss going uphill. So, um, I hear it's going to get worse, but I don't care. <laughs> mark my, maybe mark my words. I might be, uh, regretting that I said that. So, um, the weather report is saying that it's supposed to be raining starting tonight and for the next couple of days. Although it's probably 90 degrees out there right now, so we'll see. At least for tonight, we're here in this uh, incredibly beautiful place.